What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well today. So I had a pretty clutch game on Zerishin today that came down to the last few ticker points. But before I go into that, I want to address the new melee weapon we got to achieve over the weekend here. So we had a new melee weapon called the Coop Coop Machete and we had to get 300 shotgun kills over the weekend in order to unlock it. So if you're one of the players who got the 300 shotgun kills and you went into your home menu page on Battlefield 1 and went over to the soldier tab and scrolled down to community missions and clicked on it and claimed your reward and were wondering where this new melee weapon was showing up in your inventory, you're actually going to find it in a legendary battle pack. So go into your battle packs page and you're going to find it there. So for some of you who might have have some battle packs you haven't opened up yet, you're going to have to open those up first in order to get to the uh, melee weapon that's hiding behind those. So DICE has done this before, just recently actually, with the new Totokia melee weapon that came out when DICE was celebrating the new Battlefront 2 game to come out. I'm not, not quite sure exactly why DICE is going about doing this. Hopefully it's because they want to get these weapons to register into our inventory quicker because I do know that a lot of you are having a hard time getting your dog tags and skins into your inventory. I am one of them and that can be quite frustrating and pretty confusing when you complete a mission and then you're looking all around and wondering where it's at and now that DICE has a reputation of having things not register in their system when people are looking around for this new melee weapon they might just kind of give up and think oh well it's going to just show up kind of whenever six days later or something like that but no that's not the case it should be in a battle pack so go check it out there now no official word yet on if DICE is going to revisit this event and give people another chance to achieve this melee weapon however though from my opinion I would be a bit surprised if they don't I wouldn't expect it anytime soon because we got Turning Tides coming out next week and we do have a lot of other melee weapons of sorts that were in the testing environment next to this Coop Coop machete that was there. So maybe next weekend we get to have a chance to unlock one of those other new melee weapons like the Russian Axe. I don't quite know, but again, I would be a bit surprised if they don't revisit this specific melee weapon sometime in the future just again because it, it's something in game it's a weapon in game it's not like a cosmetic item and it would be kind of strange if they just do this one three-day event so be on the lookout for that in the future nothing seen of course but keep your eye out on that so um, again i'm on zerishin today i'm trying to bring my teammates back into this game um i had a feeling there was gonna be a bit of a grind this game so i was like man if there's a, if there's one map where i feel like the team seems are gonna be a bit imbalanced and i'm gonna have um, to carry my team a bit this would be a good map for me just because I can grab the elite class and there's only so many territories to capture and I could probably hold down a territory for a good amount of time using the Villa Perosa so that's what the kind of strat was on this round fortunately I had died there at the very beginning I was trying to hold them off as much as I could from getting over there to B and was trying to hold them down right right through that doorway where they want to push out but um, unfortunately, I was trying to kill that medic class. I, I put like 94 damage on something like that. It's, just, it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking when they're so close to death and you don't die. You just get, you just don't expect it. So, fortunately, I died and they capped B. And um, I tried to push B up there a little bit, but we were just getting punished. So I um, eventually waited till I could get the uh, the uh, new, the, the, not the, the the elite class again to pop back up. And uh, then I made my push out over here. I did cut the video up a, a little bit just because it was one of those games that go on for a while. When you have those really close games, you have those like almost like 30 minute games that go by. So to kind of save you guys the whole 30 minutes of uh, of that, I kind of condensed it down here a little bit. So I, I, I really want to hold down C here because I they held down B so well after I had died the first time that I knew D B wasn't going to be the best place to kind of push. So I, I'm going to try to hold down C as much as I can and force them to get out of B and make a move somewhere. So that's what I can kind of do with Zerishin. If you get those players, especially when they go up top in the cathedral and they're holding it down in those angles and you're just getting destroyed, to just, uh, um, just, just try to push out the other territory, especially if you have an elite class, it definitely helps because um, for the most part, I'm, unless they bring out their whole team, uh, one squad is not going to cut it with you with this elite class so I know I can get three kills before I have to reload and you know the fourth or fifth guy might not be necessarily right next to his teammate so I can quickly reload and then finish off the rest of the squad so that's was what I was doing here until I really was making sure that they were going to respect me even though 
they are capping it right now. I'm fine with that because I know even if they cap it for a few seconds, I'm going to recap it and I'm going to hold it down for like another minute or two. So I'm slowly trying to work my way back because if I wasn't doing this, they would have held us down over here um, by B and would have made a push, push us all the way back to C. And you would have had one of those games where you find yourself, you know, holding on for dear life, hoping that you can get a behemoth and maybe that will bring your team back. But I didn't, I didn't want to find myself in that um, situation there. So just trying to um, hold it down over here. Going to hopefully get some squad spawns, which is what, what my goal was. And just again, kind of, you know, again, let them have it for a couple, you know, seconds or so. Then I'm going to push myself back on over here. Once especially I realized my teammate's shooting at him, I didn't want to leave my teammate hanging. So I'm going to come over here and, and, and help him out. Fortunate thing is I didn't have to deal with as many tanks as I thought I was. I was just, man, the worst thing about some things about this kit is you can't do anything about the tanks. It makes you really appreciate the tank hunter class. But yeah, it's just, there's nothing I can do. And I was, was concerned if like the land ship was going to show up, but ends up not really showing up. I really had just more had to deal with just, just a lot of enemy players really, because uh, like I said, I felt like the teams were a little bit unbalanced. I was going to have to really going to have to carry it this round. Um, and if it, like I said, if there was a map to do it on, it was definitely this map because like I said, I, I fare a little bit better on the smaller maps if I have to really try to control a game. And uh, you, anyone can do this too. It's not like you know I have some type of special skill or something like that. I consider myself really just an average player. I really try to think my way through these type of things. So I feel like anyone can really do this. So um, I'm really just trying to watch myself right here because I know they're throwing flares and they're all around there. And I've had some games before where people jumped out of the buildings and meleeed me in the back. You know how these like crazy moments, right? So I'm trying to trying to eliminate the the wild things that have happened to me. Even though I still have some wild things that still happen to me in this game that you'll see coming up here in a little bit. But uh, fortunately, I get some more squad spawns on me. My teammate lays down a um, ammo crate, which was very helpful. And now we're pushing back over here. Get a good spot onto him. Got a little nervous there because it's an assault class. And last thing I want to deal with is an AT rocket gun, which I know is going to happen sooner or later because that's just how it works. You start doing really well and you're playing against competent players. They're gonna pull out an AT rocket gun and they're going to lay down and they're gonna blast you pretty quick So that's uh, that's that's usually the meta if you're doing if you're playing really well with an elite class And you got some players that want to take you out They'll start using that and so I'm being very cautious because when I realize that starts to happen. I start to Adjust which is always what you have to do. You always want to adjust and uh, Adjust to how they play and respect that once you kill a, a couple of uh, you know, a player a couple times with an elite class You know respect them and realize he's, he's gonna learn quickly what's not working and he's gonna say Oh, you know, I'm gonna change it up try something different and when that happens You're gonna need to change up what you're doing as well, too So my thing was I knew eventually they were gonna want to start quit pushing so strong over here to a and they're gonna start laying down there by the Buildings and they're gonna start trying to blast me with their AT rocket guns and the moment they did that then, then I was going to leave and go to B because they were going to be so concerned about me being over here and they were going to think I'm still in these buildings and they're just going to be laying down there trying to lay a bunch of fire down on me which will keep them preoccupied while, while I'm over there capping B. So that was kind of the strat as much as I still was still trying to have to hold them down here a little bit more. I still had a little bit more kills I had to put onto them to make sure that they knew that what they were trying to do wasn't going to work. So they still hadn't gotten it yet that you, know, you weren't going to come over here and just jump on the... You know territory and use your you know you know whatever i mean we have a scout class coming out over here like that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it you're not gonna be able to do that so we got they're gonna have to do something differently wasn't sure what was gonna happen if i was gonna see a lot of gas grenades or i was gonna see at rocket guns but i'm um, just trying to find that one guy over here there's a nice thing about these maps that, which is weird too it's this man i feel like ah uh, you know we got turning ties coming out in a week and i'm just like some of these maps is like really getting the hang of them you know when we had um um, the they shall not pass it was such a long time until we had name the czar so I had a long time to get really accustomed to those maps and not the amount of time I'm having with uh, with the name the czar so that's a little bit unfortunate because as much as I want a new DLC out and don't get me wrong I do want it to come out at the same time it's like man I'm just grasping all the angles all the you know where's the mate at where do, where what is it on the map where do people like to go like I knew where that guy was hiding that down at the corner and I, I was looking at every part where people would hide at and I knew that was where he was gonna be and I looked and there he was so you know that's why I enjoy right when I start to really grasp those maps and really understand them that's when things start getting really crazy because lately my K my uh, my, my kills per game been going up 
Um, just because I'm just slaying like crazy lately, just because I'm just really beginning to really grasp these maps. Even Volga River, which Volga River has owned me. And, and even Lufko Pass, Lufko, Lufko Pass owned me as well too. Both those maps were like, man, I was I was getting destroyed on those maps. And I'm, I'm still getting destroyed, don't get me wrong, but not as, not as bad. So, But uh, here it comes now. I know now they're doing weird stuff. Like, why is he out over there? I can't finish my kill. This is when I start getting nervous because... I'll start blasting people like I had early on in the game where I blasted that medic right there by the door. That little hallway there over here to egg. And put like 94 damage on him. So I was waiting for it. There it is. I knew it was coming, but I was like, I'm going to risk it. And um, fortunately, I'm able to get myself out of there before he reloads because he could still get a shot me in the back. That I would have been a really. I kind of risk it there. I might have. Because if I stayed down too long, he might have held his rocket gun and. And, and waited for me or you know it, I, all in all I was in a bad situation all right I just want to get out of there as quick as I can so but now they're doing what I expect them to do which is they're gonna try to hold it down by using some AT rocket guns I'm still trying to see maybe a little bit trying to I'm being a little a, 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 a bit aggressive over here because again I want to make sure that they stay over here and they stay busy and preoccupied thinking I'm in the actual you know buildings right there now all I'm really looking for now is a horse to move me quicker over there to be which I fortunately get it right here. So fortunately, I was didn't kill the actual horse itself, and I'm able to get on the horse. I'm gonna push over to B, but unfortunately, they're already like pushing C already. So it, that kind of didn't like work out too well. But at the same time, it worked out well enough because at the really what I really wanted us to get was to get B because we were getting punished by B earlier on. And I was like, man, we need to do something differently here. And that's why I went over there and pushed over to C to cause them to have to leave off of B. Because you can stay in B all day long and camp up on top of the cathedral right there. And we can go cap A and C and you're going to lose the game. So you, heck, if you want to have B, you can have it. I'll go cap A and C, which is what we were able to do right there. And now, um, unfortunately, they have C. So I'm going to kind of work my way around. I want to work. That's why I want to go straight to C, but I end up running into like... A bunch of more players out over here, like actually a, a lot of them. It's a, good, it's a good amount right here, and um, um, is it even more like even hiding behind the turn and everything like that. So um, then I see more than them. I'm like, oh, jump off the horse. I have I have a full um, full clip, and I'm gonna reload really quick. I'm like, I've done enough damage here. I, I want to go over there to see because um, I, I'm fine with them grabbing A. I'm cool with that. I just don't want them spawning behind us uh, over here by C. So. Um, want to want to get the push over here so we can make a healthy push then over to A, and then because I know if we can get them over to A with the Villa Perosa, and if I'm in that hallway there, uh, where those buildings are at, where I was at the very beginning of the game, but I died because I couldn't finish that kill, I would be good. But I had another uh, just terrible moment <laughs> where uh, the, the land ship blasted me in the side. I was like, you "Gotta be kidding me!" So that, you know, it's what happens with Battlefield, it's how it is. So that was, that set me back a little bit. And now we're fast forward here until I get the kit again. And I, I was like, I got to make one last attempt. They, they were able to recap B again. Um, because that was how it was working for us. That they were just owning us completely. And the best option I had was to get the Elite class and to try to hold down A over here. So I'm back over here by A. I had to actually walk it all the way over here from where the the um, elite class spawns and uh, they're they they were so wanting to hold down b that they were just not respecting how much i was going to hold down a because i was going to hold down a just as much as they were going to hold down b and i i had the better positioning just because of the actual weapon itself so now i'm going to hold it down with everything i have even though i'm like torn right here because they got about 25 ticker points on us right now and i don't know enough about the analytics of how the ticker rates go if I'm just kind of feeling it, it's like off of all my experience, seeing like, do I have enough to make it? And I'm just like, I'm just torn right now what to do. So I'm like, not sure if I should go make a push to B or stay here over by A. And, you know, there are more people are pushing here. So it's making me stay over here to A a little bit longer. And I don't, I would, would need a horse if I want to push over to B to get over there quicker because it's just... You know, you don't want to be moving some of these elite classes between uh, capture points because you could spend half the game, you know, trying to go over those, you know, distances between them just because how slow they are. But um, I can't think about that right now because I got players that are still pushing over here. Um, I hear what I think is a land ship, but I, I don't see anything that's pushing up and not not getting work, not getting anywhere over here. The music's starting to play the end round music, and we're still behind. So I'm like, okay, well, no one's showing up here. I'm going to make my push all the way over to B 
Now, unfortunately, it was like the rhythm of the game. Like the moment I got off A, they would start capping A again. Like you're gonna see it start ticking down off of A. Like instantly, I just like, oh man, the, the timing of it. I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna go over to B. Maybe I can cap B quicker than they can cap A. I know I'm gonna have teammates spawn over there by A. Um, they're all nervous here by B, and I'm seeing B actually being able to change a little bit here, so that's promising. So I'm going to come over here just guns blazing, and fortunately enough, actually, teammates had already had a really under control, so the strat worked. I was pushing it really strong. I mean, they're already up top. You know, they have every position over here. Um, now I'm just hoping that we just have enough bodies on the actual territory to put some, uh, the ticker rate to move it faster, even though I'm taking shots. Or actually, they weren't even up top right yet. There's only two guys up top there. So, um, unfortunately, I, I was a little nervous to jump off up here and kill this guy, but I really just want to clear out the whole area. And the moment then I begin to look at the ticker rate again and see that uh, it was actually it did actually work here, that we were going to be okay. And I probably could have stayed over there by... I could probably could have stayed over there by A and held down A, and they could have held B, and we still would have uh, turned out the victory over there at the end there. So it was really, really close, and it's one of those games that... Uh, it was going to take, uh, like, me using the Elite class three times uh, to bring us over the edge there. Because if, if it wasn't for that, we would have been in trouble. So it just shows to go at uh, this Elite class how much of a big deal it is. Um, to, if you want to really, um, you know, really change, a, you know, a turn the tides on the map, right? So, uh, but yeah, that's basically it for you guys today. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. I am living, and I'll catch you guys again later. Peace.